Here's Decius Brutus. He shall tell him, sir. Caesar, all hail. Good morrow, worthy Caesar. I come to fetch you to the Senate. And you come in very happy time to bear my greetings to the senators and tell them that I will not come today. Cannot is false, and that I dare not, false. I will not come. I will not come. Tell them so, Decius. Say you seek. Shall Caesar send a lie? Have I conquest stretched mine arm so far? To be afraid to tell gray beards the truth? Decius, go tell them Caesar will not come. Most mighty Caesar, let me know some cause. Lest I be laugh at when I tell them so. The, ca the cause is my own will. I will not come. That is enough to satisfy the Senate. But for your private satisfaction, because I love you, I will let you know. Calpurnia here, my wife, stays me at home. She drunk tonight, she saw my statue, which like a fountain with a hundred spouts, did run pure blood, and many lusty Romans came smiling and did bathe their hands in it. And these does she apply her warnings and portents. An evil eminent, and on her knee, hath begged that I stay at home today. This dream is so that misinterpreted. It was a vision, fair and fortune. Your statue is found in blood in many pipes, in which so many smiling Romans bath, signifies that from you great Rome shall suck reviving blood, and that great men shall press from tinctures, stains, relics, and cognizance. This way can bring your dream is signified. And this way have you expounded it? I have, when you have heard what I, what I can say. And now, if now, and know it now, the Senate have concluded to give this day a crown to mighty Caesar. If you shall send them word, you will not come. This mind may change, their mind may change. Besides, it were a mock up to give it a nerve from someone to, to say, break up the Senate in another time, when Caesar's wife shall meet with better dreams. If Caesar's hide himself, shall they not whisper, lo, Caesar is afraid. Pardon me, Caesar, for my dear, dear love to your proceeding base, me tell you this, and listen to my life's library. How foolish do your fears seem now, Calpurnia. I am ashamed I did yield to them. Give me my robe, for I will go. And look where Clevius has come to fetch me. Good narrow, Caesar. Welcome, Clevius. What Brutus? Are you stirred so early today? Good morrow, Casca, Cassius Lucius. Caesar was never so much your enemy. At the same hour, uh, which have made you lean, what's it, o'clock? Caesar, this struck an end. I thank you for your pains and courtesy. See Antony, that, that revels a long night. Talk more, how will you talk? Bid prepare them within. I am blamed to be thus waited for. Now Cinna, now Messius, now Metellus. What? Trevonius, I have an hour's talk in store for you. Remember that you call on me today, and be near me, that I may remember you. Caesar, I will. Not so near will I be, that your best friend shall wish a happy return. Good friends, go in, and taste some wine with me. And we, like friends, will straight away go together. <laughs> that, every, that every like is not the same. Oh, Caesar, the heart of Brutus earns to think upon. <laughs> 